All right, y'all, what's happening? I mean, it's cold here in Pennsylvania. It's dark. I mean, I haven't updated in a long time. I'm sorry for that. I mean, not much of a camera guy. Don't pay much attention to things that are going on around me other than work and taking care of my family. I mean, I bought a new house. It's over a thousand square feet bigger than the last one, so I don't know. Must be doing something right, I guess. I don't know. Something's happening. Anyway, uh, just wanted to give y'all an update. And I mean, Civic's still here. She's still here, obviously. I mean, I can't ever get rid of the Civic. I mean, if I do, something's wrong with me. Uh, anyway... So, I bought an Accord. I bought a uh, 2001 CG1 Honda Accord uh, V6. Had a J30A1 stock with a four-speed auto. And, uh, I mean, lo and behold, the four-speed auto didn't hold up. When I bought it, I bought it for 900 bucks. I mean, it was just supposed to be a daily to get back and forth to work. My job, my previous job, was uh, an hour and 45 minutes away from my house. Uh, so, yeah, it didn't work out quite well. I mean, at first they were letting me drive my company truck back and forth. But uh, eventually we got some new managers that wanted to uh, save money and guess what their only driver was the first guy to take the hit well i should have figured that all good things come to an end at some point and they laid me off back in september got a new job since then um you know bought a new house in the process uh, my oldest son i have two sons my oldest son is about to be a teenager so they needed their own bedrooms. So I bought a much bigger house. What you're seeing in the background is basically I have a canopy over my driveway right now because of the snow and rain and all that. Uh, I live near Pittsburgh, so you can imagine it's fairly cold here. Uh, anyway, today was pretty decent. So, I mean, even though my car is dirty as hell, I just wanted to show you all my Accord. I've uh, been working on it for quite a while since I got it. And uh, I'll give you a little walk around. So I'm going to switch camera angles now, I guess. Check it out. Anyway, dirty as hell. Salt. Mud. From where I'm working. CG1 Honda Accord. Um, it was an LX. Was. Uh... I put EX leather interior in it. Uh, this car was originally green, pearl, uh, and parts of it still are, but now it is. I mean, it's Nighthawk Black Pearl. Anyway, I put some JNC wheels on it, uh, some lower profile tires. I put a complete body kit on it i mean it's got the factory headlights they've just been polished they're just really dirty right now so bear with me i should have uh posted a video after i cleaned it up because it looks like uh complete shit right now but yeah it's got a complete uh buddy club body kit on it uh, there's an intercooler for a reason, and I'll show you that reason in a minute. But yeah, JNC wheels, they're gold. Or candy apple. If uh, you can't see that, which I'm sure you probably can't. I uh, had to replace the quarter panels because they were shot. Uh, I got four Sundown Audio 12s in it. Uh, it's got a complete NVIDIA exhaust. Uh, I have a DC Power 320 amp alternator in it. 
uh, an Orion HCCA SPLX 3000 watt amp. Uh, LED tail lights. Uh, let me show out the trunk. Uh, yeah, LED tail lights. I have a complete Acura trunk lid for it with a, or I'm sorry, not Acura, a cord trunk lid for it. It's got the Accord factory wing on it. Uh, the NVIDIA exhaust is uh, one into two, uh, just like the factory exhaust. Uh, well, let's see. Like I said, I bought the full leather interior for it. I got a bunch of uh, tools in the back seat. Uh, it has an actual Nardi steering wheel, uh, you know, factory gauges. But I also have uh, an AEM wideband uh, boost gauge and an oil pressure gauge. And then I have a uh, GFB electronic boost controller on it. Uh, and it's also got a touchscreen digital stereo in it uh, and as you can see it is a six speed uh, of course my camera won't focus but anyway yeah so it's been a wild ride uh, under the hood let's see save the best for last I guess it has a JDM J32A 3.2 liter VTEC V6 single overhead cam. Uh, they came rated with 260 horsepower in this version. And the six speed manual transmission from a 2003 Acura CL Type S with LSD. And as you can see here, it has a Garrett GT35R turbo. Uh, I also have a Tile 44 millimeter wastegate and a Tile Q50 blow off valve. I also have Injector Nation 1000 cc injectors in it, ARP head studs, so on and so forth. Uh, that is the intercooler piping that leads down to the front mount intercooler, which isn't centrally located because I'd like to keep my air conditioning. I also have power steering over here. I have a Holly upper intake manifold on it from P2R Racing, but uh, it doesn't work too well with the power steering. Um, I was told that it would, but apparently I was misled because uh, no matter what I do, I can't get it to seal and it idles at like 3000 RPM once I install it with my uh, Skunk 2 90 millimeter throw off. Yeah, throttle body. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm off tonight. I've been working way too hard for way too long. Join the club, right? Anyway, yeah, so, uh, that's, I mean, it's basically an eBay, it's an eBay turbo kit with manifolds, the collector pipe, the down pipe, and all that, the up pipe, I mean, I had to modify it all, none of it fit, it was a joke, um, but it was the only thing that I could get that was readily available to install in a J-Series, because for some reason, I don't see too many J-Series turbo kits, so, I bought the best foundation I could find, and I made it work. Anyway, right now it's tuned on between 7 and 8 pounds of boost. Uh, it made 458 wheel horsepower in its current version. Uh, it, it literally made 7.8 pounds of boost on the dyno. Uh, that was on a dyno jet. You know, it's kind of cold out now, but this was in a heated shop, so 
it is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, I, I didn't want it, all you guys to think that I forgot about you. You know, I'm uh, doing the best I can right now. I mean, it's it's kind of rough, uh, you know, going from more than doubling my mortgage, almost tripling, and uh, trying to deal with what I got. I mean, almost all of this stuff was built with everything that I had sitting in my garage over time from working on this car. But yeah, so... I've been doing what I can do. I've uh, got a new job. And, you know, basically... I install gas lines. New gas mains. And we maintain them. And I'm still a truck driver, so... You know, I still make decent money, but... Make less money than I made at my last job, so... And doing what I can do with what I got and it is what it is but I appreciate y'all watching you know I hope to uh, be able to update you more often I mean I wish I could have cataloged this whole this whole installation process the modification process but just wanted y'all to know I appreciate you and thanks for watching Y'all have a good night. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.